Ah, it's good to be back. I had to take a couple of months off. I was busy working and uh, what else was I doing? Oh, I worked a lot. I did a ton of powder coating. I did some gardening. I spent some time at Home Depot. I built a patio. Painted the grill of my car. I made a mess of my workbench because I painted the grill on my car. I sanded my workbench. I gave it a fresh coat of lacquer. I promptly made a mess of it. And I bought a new computer. So, yeah, I was, I was keeping myself busy off camera, as they say. But I'm back, and beside me here, I have eight textured blacks. Uh, I wrote the names down so that I would have them here. Starting with Harley Denim Black, Dull Black Texture, Black Carbide, Black Satin Texture, Caveman Black, Deep Black Flat Texture, Harley Textured Gunmetal, which I believe is more of a gray, but uh, I wanted to check it out. And uh, HD Harley Black Texture. So, I have a, oop, these are the, uh, I have the samples from the last video. And if you didn't see the last video, I compared the wrinkle blacks that are out there with some of the textures that are actually on the Harley engine cases. Uh, you can check that video out right here. So, I have a fresh bag of blanks. And uh, let's get on it. I just have to clean up these blanks. Uh, generally what I use is a just a, a degreaser. It depends on the part. Like for these, I'm just going to give them a little wipe with the degreaser. And, uh, and just throw them in. in. In some just plain water to rinse it off. You can probably hear the dust collection fan going. Uh, I have it on because it never fails. The minute I get out here and want to make a video, my neighbor fires up his karaoke machine at Mach 10 and uh, can't hear myself thinking here. So I turn the fan on and no more karaoke. The first one we're going to try is uh, Harley Denim Black. This is from the Powder Coat store. And uh, now I know that this is more of a flat black but I want to use it as as a comparison Between each powder, I blow out the hose, the gun, the pump, uh, clean out the fluidizing cup, just so I don't uh, contaminate the next color. Now, like I said in the intro, this is Harley Denim Black, and it is a flat black. Okay, the next one is Black Satin Texture, and it's sold by Prismatic. And I just want to say to Prismatic, you might want to consider putting your name on the label, because I've had these powders kicking around for a month and a half or so, just in a couple of boxes. And when I went to use them, I had no idea where they came from. So, just a heads up. Hey, Editing Lancer here. I just want to point out that this big white fluidizing cup that I have right here is not the one that I filled in the shot prior to this one. Uh, that's because the bottom fell off this one as I was carrying it to the uh, powder coating booth. Don't know what happened. I guess I'm too strong. I broke it. 
So I had to change out to the white fluidizing cup. This footage here does not do this coating justice. I will definitely be buying more of this powder. It's absolutely beautiful. So this one's called Deep Black Flat Texture and it's sold by Emerald Coatings. I really like how this color is green in its powder form, but turns black when you cook it. Uh, if anybody knows why, could you write it down in the comments? Because I'd like to know. <laughs> okay, the next one is, uh, I can't wait for this one. Caveman Black, and it's sold by Prismatic. Something I should mention is when I clean the hose out and the gun and everything, there's no powder in it. So when I start up again, the air comes rushing out of the cup bring in a ton of powder with it until the powder backs up, the system regulates itself and it starts spraying normally again. But I just use the bag so I don't lose all the powder. <laughs> I put a little mark on it. Well, it is a nice texture, but it's not too far from the other ones. This is a pretty good looking one. And I like the name, Caveman Black. These bigger fluidizing cups are a way better quality than that little guy that I was using at the beginning of the video. No problem whatsoever with this one. I got carried away and forgot to turn the camera on when I was pouring this into the cup. This is Carbide Black from Emerald Coatings. Okay, the next one is HD Harley Black Texture and that's sold by allpowderpaints.com and they like their knots. Come on, why can't you just use twist ties like everybody else? All right. <laughs> oh man. But at least they put their name on their label. Just like that. That's pretty nice. I like that one. You really can't go wrong with any of these textures. They all look good. This one has a little blemish in the corner. I may have put it on a little thin, but it still looks good. Okay, the next one is dull black texture. I forgot to mention that this dull black texture comes from prismatic powders. <sighs> okay, down to the last one. Now, uh, this is Harley Textured Gunmetal. And I believe it's a gray. Uh, the picture was so bad, I, I couldn't tell what color it was. But uh, I really wanted to try it out anyways. Oh yeah, definitely has some gray to it. So that went well. Uh, that one fluidizing cup kind of blew up on me, but that was no big deal. Had another one. A couple of the powders kind of caught me off guard a little bit with their uh, density and the, I 
didn't quite have the uh, fluidizing cup and the air pressure and everything all dialed in properly but uh, we got that fixed up and it went well uh, the oven it's been running like a champ if you don't know I, I built this oven out of a smoker and it has a 110 element here 220 element at the top I built that control panel to run the whole show and uh, yeah it runs like a champ I've been using it every week for two years now and today it's been going for six hours straight no problems is done all right let's compare them so as it turned out the textured gunmetal is a gray but it's still a really nice powder all right and here's a quick shot of them all together on my bench you can't really tell the textures at all here i'm going to drag them outside and we're going to get a better look at them outside this footage is all shot in 60 frames per second so if you pause it it should look great um, this footage really shows the textures and the colors popping through from the sun looks good i'll write the names and numbers and where i got them from down in the description if you're interested in any of these powders and here's another angle still again if you pause it you'll really be able to see the textures pop and uh, that's it for this video. I really want to thank you for watching right to the end and we'll see you next time.